But joining us is Congressman Jim Jordan, Republican Ohio. What do you make of it, Congressman? I'm, I'm not sure to, uh, what to make of it either. Uh, look, it's probably just a prank and a spoof, and, and, and I'm much more interested in what we know took place, yeah. Stuart, which is namely this dossier was taken to a secret court to get a secret warrant to spy on a fellow American citizen, and they didn't tell the court who paid for the dossier. They didn't tell the court about Christopher Steele and that they had terminated their relationship with him because he had broke a fundamental trust, but they still used his work product. So they didn't tell the court important pieces of information when they were getting this warrant to spy on someone associated with the Trump campaign. Uh, Jim, our audience, I, I think, and a lot of people, are really confused about the ins and outs of all, yeah. this, all, all that's going on, the names, the places, who said what to whom. Would you bring it all together, please, and explain where well, you are with the Republican memo, the Democrat memo, the forthcoming State Department memo, and all, bring us, boil it down. Where are we? Yeah, here's the simplest way to understand it through one guy, Peter Strzok, who ran the Clinton investigation, interviewed Mills, Abedin, Clinton, ran that investigation. We know the fix was in based on the text messages between Strzok and Page, where they talk about it's no big deal that Lynch recused herself from making the decision because she already knows we're not going to bring charges. So we know the fix was in on the Clinton investigation. Those same key people who ran the Clinton investigation opened and ran and started the Russian investigation. Peter Strzok is the guy who opened that investigation. So that, that, that's the key guy. And then when they start that investigation to spy on a fellow American citizen, they use the work product of Christopher Steele, who was paid by Fusion, who was paid by the law firm, who was paid by the Clinton campaign and the Democrat National Committee. That's what we need to know. And now there's a text message out today. There's a text message out today from September 2nd. So remember this. July 5th, they, they closed the Clinton investigation. They're not going to bring charges against her. End of July 2016, they opened the Russian investigation. Peter Strzok, the agent who opens that investigation. September 2nd, there's a text message between Page and Strzok where Page says, the P POTUS wants to know everything we're doing. Ooh. Now, interesting. POTUS, the President of the United States, President Obama wants to know everything we're doing. Now, I don't know what that means in, 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 completely, but it's interesting the timing because it's September 2nd, just four and a half weeks after they've opened the Trump-Russia investigation. So the best way to understand all this, I, I think, is through the individual Peter Strzok, former deputy head of counterintelligence, who's now been demoted from that position at the FBI. By the way, President Trump, I believe, has just tweeted about this, calling this, this text, the latest text that you just mentioned there, Jim, it's a bombshell. That's what he just yeah. said, I believe. Well, I think the timing certainly makes it significant and makes it so that we need to investigate this further. July 5th, 2016, Clinton has said no charges are going to be brought. Comey does his big press conference. End of July 2016, Peter Strzok opens the investigation into Trump Russia. September 2nd, 2016, this text message from Page saying the President of the United States wants to know what we're doing. Well, that is big, I believe. Jim Jordan, thanks for putting it all together. We appreciate that. that. I understand it now. Thank you, Jim. Good stuff. Thank you.